Hello everyone, it is King Sloth back in with a brand new video. I'm going to aim for 10 likes on this. Start off with a massive 10 likes. It's awesome, all the people supporting. This question was sent to me by someone in the YouTube comments and I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to add it to the list. And that is, what is life like after phase one training? Obviously I can only speak about my own experience with this because everyone's life is different. Everyone, Everyone's own core training is different, such as the infantry will go elsewhere than someone the signals will go. I can talk about my experience and what happened to me from the day I left phase one to the day I started phase two and a couple of weeks after that, well, for the time of phase two, what it was like. After phase one, I had one week off in between phase one and phase two. My phase one was in Winchester, which is uh, down south. And then you've got uh, Blanford, which is in Dorset, which is even further south. It's near the coast. Um, but over that week, it was... It was really re relaxed. It was really nice. I, I saw people I hadn't seen in a really long time. I also had a stag do. The day I left phase one was my own... Uh, the day after I left phase one, sorry, was my own stag do, which was absolutely mad. So I had 14 weeks, no drinking, for them to then go, it's your stag do, you go in. I was like, okay, okay. Destroyed. It was really bad. And then I got married uh, uh, a week after that. Which was absolutely amazing, best day of my life. Ooh, soppy man. But um yeah, then I went so it was all relaxed, it was nice to meet everyone. Everyone was just asking questions, they were talking about all the different stories and just it was good. Uh, obviously I tried to keep in touch with as many people as I can uh for, from my phase one. However, most people I did speak to after phase one were only people who were going to my phase two, apart from the occasional uh couple of people who went to different calls. Uh yeah, but then we went to phase two. I started off in the block, which which was not as much of a shock to the system. I re I got a really nice room. I looked out, so most people got ten or ten or twelve man rooms, which was uh, I guess for them, depending on how you look at things, you have got your own a lot of personal space in their blocks that we were in. However, I was lucky and got put into a four man room for I was only in there for a month because uh, my wife, obviously I got married over the time. Uh, between phase one and phase two, which meant we got a house fully approved. So we, my wife and my stepdaughter moved down south with me. But for that month I was in the block, it was really, really chilled out. The first couple of weeks, I had something called Taskins in, I believe it's called Kahima Troop in our, our phase two anyway. And it was like, you do like little odd jobs around the camp, but I say like, if you need for like to play enemy and like a battle camp, you'd just go and be like, okay, get your rifle. You're going to sit in this bush for a bit, do some shooting, which is far like shooting blanks and make sure that they're the people who are actually doing the exercise have to pretend to kill you pretty much. But we did that. Uh, I'll have a drink once a week with the lads, which is really good. Just to build that bond for the sort of people in my in my, uh, in my my section, really. It was really good. Uh, once my wife came down south, it was a lot of bar. Down south was really, really good uh, for my stepdaughter. Uh, loved it. Our house is actually right, na right next to the athletics track. It was really warm down south. So summer was great. You're next to the coast. You've got loads of stuff to do down there. Also, things that I don't tell you about, if you do move down south after phase one, say for trains down south, a lot of the places during when it's not peak sometime when all the tourists come down, a lot of the places such as we went to a theme park where Alice in Wonderland, I think that's called like Alice in Wonderland theme park. That was like two pound per person because they need to get the people in to pay the bills pretty much. So they were like, if you have a, a Dorset postcode, show us proof, come in for two pound a person. Monkey World, which is an absolutely amazing place if you want to take your kids there, which is really good. Uh, go there. You, we were told actually, bring get your kids to bring a banana each. And they get it for free, and me and my wife had to pay ten pound. That was it. So it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, but life after phase one, I guess it was. You had to. I've mentioned screen videos. You had to learn how to switch off because phase one, it's very, very constant. Like you're always on edge. The gap between phase one and phase two, you have to like sort of learn to breathe again. Learn to like forget. Forget like someone's not going to be constantly there like what the fuck are you doing what are you doing what are you doing it like constantly in your face. You need to learn how to shut off that instinct of like fight or flight sort of thing. Um, but yeah, for me 
it was really, really calm. I made sure to definitely while you're over between phase one and phase two, keep on top of your fears. Don't let that fizz slip. I know a couple of people that went from phase one who were really, really fit, went home with the lads, drank every single day, ate bad food all the time, and stopped doing fizz. And it, it, when they got to phase one, and phase two, sorry, it was really bad from them. They really, really struggled. So make sure in the between that gap between phase one and phase two, you make sure to continue working. Obviously not as fucking hectic as a like proper like big hit session we're going to make yourself throw up. Just keep on top of your running. Keep on top of uh, tabbing with your weight. Just do do what you need to do to keep on top of your fizz. Um, make sure... I used to run on a Friday. I used to do, my, I used to do like a mock fitness test myself uh, at least once a week. Just to see, oh, I can still pass, I can still pass, I can still pass. If I ever started to struggle on that, okay, I'm stepping up my fizz this week. That's just what I did. Like at the minute, you might not have noticed, uh, I'm still working on um, fitness. I've got one episode recorded that I need to push out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to do like a month in hand sort of thing. So every two weeks, I'm going to upload a video called Transitioning a Weight Loss Journey. So far, I've lost like seven pounds in a week in two days. That's light fizz on watching my eat. But yeah, make sure just work on your fizz in between your gap between phase one and phase two. The life after phase one is a lot calmer. Just enjoy yourself, make it all an experience, and I'm sure you'll be fine. So anyway, it has been King Sloth. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. It does help. It's aimed for 10 likes as I've said already, 10 massive likes. It's been King Sloth. See you all soon. Thank you.